All right, so I got this from Amazon and it arrived not fully working. Uh, you can see this is lined with mini LEDs. This is a grow light. Um, it's got some really amazing lemon and orange bushes um, that they really started to grow and I want to keep them uh, really vibrant and ready for the summer. So here in Michigan, we get quite a bit of unpleasant gray um, clouds and not very few uh, sunlight. And so this is to keep them nice and healthy until the summertime. So let me turn this on and show you what the issue is. So one of the main uh, challenges um, in Michigan is the winter and oh boy does it get nice and uh, cold but I don't mind that as much as we don't get a lot of sun uh, it just becomes pretty violent so any of those people who have seasonal issues like sad or something similar won't like it so let me just plug this in and there's two uh, buttons here one's veg this light uh, according to the instructions um, are for vegetation um, keep them growing keep them nice and great you can see that doesn't do anything this other one does so I'm gonna look away because it is very bright but it's bloom so provides the right frequency of light to really uh, <laughs> make these babies grow uh, I will try not to blind you but you can see um, how well they work and those LEDs that are interspersed that aren't turned on they should be when I turn on this veg light but I get nothing so you'll notice that I get nothing turning on otherwise it's a pretty cool little product uh, straightforward very simple I don't know who this brand is I just heard good reviews um, you can perhaps here in the background there is a fan these LEDs get very hot and we're going to inspect them today uh, take a look at what potentially could be causing the switch could be oh look at this this just comes right off all right <laughs> this was only 50 bucks or so so I'll uh, that'll be fine so we'll figure out why this isn't working hopefully it's something we can fix and then I don't have to return it I'll turn that off unplug it which is quite important since we're going to be taking it apart all right so All right, we have two more to go, and we'll be set. Grab that, turn the light on, see if that helped at all. Oh, it looks like that's a bit more clear. And we have one more screw here. Ooh. Let's lift this masterpiece up. Let's see what we're in for. All right, looks like the fans are mounted to the back. Oh, along with, hmm, with just about everything but the LEDs. Uh, here's what that looks like. So we've got, it smells all right. I kind of expected cheap plastic, but it's not bad. So we've got the uh, LED driver uh, right here. We've got our two standard DC fans, the other LED driver. So one of these is working, one of them isn't. We'll figure it out. As you can see, they're both there. Cool thing is, since I have two LED drivers, I can figure out if it's the LEDs or the LED driver itself. And um, we've got our, our rocker switches. 
on the side. So pretty straightforward setup. Let's let me do this. I'm going to undo one of these. I don't know which one is which. Oh, hey, okay. Sometimes you get lucky. I, I, I assume this is the problem. So take a look right here. There it is, it's slipping up. Do you see that? I'll try and lift it up without modifying it. You see that right there? See how that's slipping out? See? It's coming right out. That literally may be the reason why it didn't work, which sucks because now it's not really fun. Uh, there's no challenge. I even got my multimeter here ready to go, do some measurements, and <sighs> it is what it is. Okay. Disappointment comes in all sorts of ways. So let's do this. Um, so the balloon has this. All right. Ah, we'll take it, take all this out. We'll take it out anyway. All right. So really quite basic. Two small power supplies. There it says sixty-five watt. Um, uh, max output, so it's probably considerably less, right? That's just when you first turn it on. And it's doing two things. It's powering a fan, so each has its own fan. Um, you can see here we've got the LED driver with a standard um, uh, fan, uh, DC 12 volt, very standard. Um, <laughs> ah, okay. This is the uh, ground that's coming in from Earth, and this is coming through uh, this. Uh, screw and <laughs> it goes right through into this ground plate. So I'm assuming it's not painted underneath and I guess it's 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 sufficient for grounding. We don't expect a lot of voltage, but that's fine. Better than a floating point. And that's it. Um, disappointingly, it's going to be straightforward, easy to fix. Now, um, let me move this aside. Let's take a look at the actual LEDs themselves. These are always so cool. Um, so here, which I really like, is glass. So it's good, you know, I think that's, you know, fairly decent quality given um, some of the things that you see. Um, LEDs look very nice here. They're very nice ordered. Um, there's very, very, very minimal rust. Maybe that's not rust. Maybe that's just, you know, cheaper metal. I mean, I guess it was 50 bucks, so we won't complain about the cost. You got plenty of diodes there and some of the resistors on the back. Um, and we've got a heat sink there that the fans uh, raise against. Your standard aluminum heat sink, nothing magic there. Um, you've got the uh, actual LEDs, the way they're being powered here. And this, this PCB here controls the switches. So you've got a rocker switch for the bloom, rocker switch for the veg, and of course the ground. So let's just fix this. Uh, and honestly, annoyingly, it's just too easy. All right, so. I'm going to try to give a little bit better view, maybe, see if that helps a little bit. All right, so it's this guy right here, and what we really need to do is there's metal brackets on the left and the right hand side. and. There's the tool. Uh, there we go. So there's metal brackets. If you can see that on the sides. And what I got to do is I need to push these metal brackets out. So when I put them in plastic, they tend to stay. So that should be out where my fingernail is, so they tend to stay uh, in the plastic rather than finding its way out. You can see this is the same. So we're gonna just do this. And this is wrong. Same thing here. Do 
beautiful. All right, so this is what it should look like on both sides. Standard piece of, I don't know if that comes in pretty clear or not. Sorry, eh, cheaper camera. But it comes out like a butterfly clip. It sticks to both ends. So when you put it through, I'm just looking at, okay, so it'll align this way. Should be able to pull it through and it should stay if we've done it correctly. So let's do that. There we go. See now I'm pulling pretty tight and this doesn't pull out because that piece of metal is now, when I pull it out, it's getting stuck in the plastic so it doesn't get pushed back. While I'm here, let me verify the others. <laughs> you never know. Uh, all right, well, maybe that was it. Uh, this would be a nice quick video, I guess. Uh, as I said, a little fun is taken out of it if, if that's it. So let's hope that that's not it. And at the same time, we'll hope that it is it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's take a look at this. If we can put it here. So I'll put the grounding last because it's kind of short. So we've got two things. Um, we've got the driver uh, for the veg. This is the one that was broken. Now it should clip right in there. There we go. Beautifully. Oh, I thought it was coming out for a moment. Looks like it has a temperature protection in case it gets too hot. All right, so that will power on the veg. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so that powers on the veg, and then we're going to go here. I, I was trying to figure out, like, wait, how do I get AC power to here? And I was forgetting that this pretty board is actually a circuit board. So I was confused, like, wait a minute, where does this go? All right, so <coughs> we're good there. We're gonna power, let's see here. And that's gonna turn this. Oh, you know what? I have this backwards, I believe. And let's turn this around. Maybe that's the way it goes a little bit better. Mm. Hold on. I don't think I had it the right way. So maybe it goes. Okay. Ah, there we go. So we'll get that connected. And we'll get that powered on. And we'll get the ground in here. As it should be. So that's in there. And finally, we'll just lay it flush. Now, interesting enough, these fans um, aren't super well protected. So I guess you have to be a little careful where these connections go. It could smash up against the fan. All right, so if it was as simple as just a standard, bloom as we got before uh, so we'll turn it off and we have one fan running hey, hey, hey. veg and we have the other fan running and together beautiful 
then you can see if I turn off the bloom, the lovely purplish blue light comes in. There we are. Well, sometimes it's just a piece of wire that got uh, messed up somehow. Could have been the fabrication. They may not have pushed it all the way in, causing somehow one side to get or jiggle loose. Maybe the connector was reused for another one. It didn't work, so they put it in this one. And just weakened the metal over time. Who knows? Or it's a defect in the material. Or maybe when they pushed it in, they put it in really hard and it didn't work. Who knows? But we are gonna go. So let's try this one more time. <clears throat> Make sure nothing jiggled. All right, so we've got our standard veg. It is really pretty inside. Yeah, here, take a look, take a look inside. It is very pretty. Isn't that pretty? Ah, maybe you don't agree. Then we have the red. The gamer. Pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching and have a fantastic day.